Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've got a load of ships, a load of manufacturers anyway, that are doing their thing today. It's a new sales day. We've got Misk, we've got Consolidated Outlands, we've got Argo, and we've got someone else as well, probably. Oh, Crusader! How could I forget Crusader? Well, I'll tell you why I forgot Crusader. Because they haven't got any ships, literally, to be rentable in the show because none of their ships are done yet. But let's have a look around the Expo Hall uh, and see what there is to offer. So we've got this sort of, like, Argo MPUVs um, here. The, the P1 and the C1. So the, the um, cargo variants and the... Oh, hello. You right, Chapsy? Uh, there's, lo oh, there's lots of people here. Um, we've got the cargo one and the personnel carrier one. Uh, great utility ships, I suppose. Uh, we've also got the Mustang Delta here. Um, and I actually quite like it for a combat ship on paper. Because it's got those, like, rocket pods and stuff it's supposed to have. Pew, pew, pew. Um, you can see them up there. But, uh, there's just so many other better choices for military ships, in my opinion. Um, and, uh... I can't see a reason to go into the sort of like Mustang Delta route for me personally. Um, but uh, maybe I'll have one eventually. Uh, we've got the Starfarer Gemini there. Um, which I do recommend people actually try out. Um, just flying around just to see what a big sort of like ship like that is like to fly. Um, you can't do the um, cargo hauling. Uh, well, you can't do the, the fuel hauling gameplay yet. Uh, but one day we'll be able to refuel ships in the verse. We've got the Freelancer Miss, which I actually think is a very viable uh, missile boat, um, which I actually will rent now. Um, I mean, try out all of these, obviously, over the next um, 28, 28, 48 um, hours or so. Um, 24 to 48. That's what I was trying to say, using my words. Got anything else? Anything else in the hall? Oh, we've got a Razor EX. Got Razor EX, the stealth version of the Razor, for sort of like, um, I suppose it's supposed to sort of like be tracking people and spying on them, is the idea of it eventually. It'd be very cool to see uh, once we have enhanced scanning and uh, detection and um, that come into its sort of own. Uh, and then we've got a uh, Tana as well, the Reliant Tana, um, which is apparently pretty good now. I haven't actually flown one in 3.9.1, but it received some updates relatively recently. And apparently it's a very viable combat ship now. So what's in the display hall today? Well, I suspect we've got a Mercury Star Runner. And I can see a little Hercules over there. Uh, yes, it is what we expected. Uh, so we've got the Mercury Star Runner here. Uh, what I will do is get some beauty shots of this uh, bad boy. So it's only in sort of like a slightly advanced white box at the moment. Um, but it's changed to be a bit more chonky. And I'm not sure if people are going to like that. Or dislike that. Or be indifferent about it. Um, I'm just glad they're making progress on it, to be honest. Sort of like... It's a very cool ship. Uh, let's read what's going on uh, here, actually. Boop. So, Crusader Industries Mercury. Good intel is the key to victory, and that's why the UE Navy is seeking to increase the presence of the Crusader Industries Mercury Star Runner in its fleet this year. Already battle-proven on several classified missions, the Mercury has delivered key strategic updates to our forces along the front, including Admiral Bishop himself, that have been the key to multiple hard-earned victories, especially in red systems where comm networks may be non-existent. The Mercury's ability to carry classify in encrypted information has been a boon time and time again. Additionally, thanks to Crusader's inclusion of a programmable kill switch and optimized security configurations, there is a significantly reduced chance of highly classified information falling into enemy hands. Pair that with the Mercury's speed, precision, and cutting-edge countermeasures, it becomes easy to see why the Navy intelligence officers have come to rely on this Star Runner for ensuring that information is delivered on time and in time. Attacked. Now that is pretty cool because that suggests to me that the Star Runner is going to have a lot more uses, um, not just as a data runner, but also um, for scouting, reconnoitering, um, sort of like spying out um, enemy fleets and, and doing some of that sort of like more um, in-depth espionage-esque missions. So very much looking forward to that. We also got the Hercules. I think this is a C2, but it's, it's the Hercules. And the exteriors might actually be pretty similar or the same, thinking about it. Um, 
Again, let's get some... Well, we could just have a little walk around. Doesn't look like it's changed too much from its original concept. Um, as I said, the, the Star Runner had, to some extent, become a bit more chonky. This is a good indication that the Mercury Star Runner and the Hercules series um, are probably on sale. Actually, let's take a look at the website and see what is available to purchase today. Sales-wise for today, it's what we expected for the most part. We've got the Freelancer Miss, which you can upgrade one of your ships to for war bond price of $175 all in, as it were. So um, you pay the difference between the, the how much your hull is uh, to the $175 for the Miss uh, freelancer if you wanted it and it comes with 120 months insurance that's a good token for some people that want that ship um what else do we have on sale we've got uh, just the uh, sort of standalone uh, freelancer miss we've got the uh, reliant tana we've got the razor ex and we've got the starfarer gemini as well prices here for me are with 20% uh, VAT because I'm in the UK. Uh, paints wise, we've got just a couple of paints for the freelancers with MISC. Um, uh, black paint and a Storm Surge paint, which I quite like the Storm Surge paint. I actually quite like the black paint, paints, but um, again, uh, reasonably expensive for those skins. Uh, for Consolidate Outlands, we've just got a Mustang Delta. No sneaky pioneers or anything there. Uh, what else have we got for Argo? We've got the MPUV1P uh, and C, so the cargo and the personnel variants, both on sale, uh, as well as the concept um, SRV, the towboat, the the tractor tra tractor ship. Um, anything else exciting? Crusader Industries. Ah, so we've got the limited hull. We've got the A2 Hercules, um, which is the limited ship there. You can buy it both on Warbond. Or with store credit as well. So that, that's the, the one that I'm not sure if they're going to sell out of the Crusader A2s. Because they were so expensive. And are so expensive for what they are. We also have the Crusader Mercury Star Runner on sale. Which is great because I think a lot of people want that ship still. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm very much looking forward to that Star Runner. Uh, we've got the C2 Hercules, we've got the M2 Hercules, and we have both those Ares Inferno and Ions. Um, again, people were pretty excited about those. That Mercury Star Runner, only still $225. I say only, it's something that I suggest most people get in-game when it's released, but we should see it by the end of the year, and I think it's one of the more popular ships in-game. But I'm interested to know what you think. Are you picking up anything today in this uh, MISC Consolidated Outlands? Um, whatever else it is, Argo, um, all, all the ship manufacturers seem to have been chucked in today. Uh, they're sort of like ones that didn't have a huge amount of ships for the sale and for free flight. That sort of makes sense, but um, are you happy with the 3.9.1 hotfix updates, or do you think that um, not being able to steal the F7As uh, and F8s takes a bit away from the game? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Just as I was wrapping up, I noticed that there was actually some more paints here. So uh, on the extras paint section of the RSI Pledge Store, you can see all the paints that they've put on available throughout the week so far. And there'll be some more added. It means the freelancers have been added here, the black paint for that and the, the Storm Surge paint as well. But they've actually added um, some for the Starfarer as well that weren't on the main site, or at least I didn't see them there when I looked. And we've got our black paint for the Starfarer, a light grey paint for the Starfarer, and we also have the uh, more exclusive uh, event Storm Surge paint. So the Storm Surge one is the Invictus launch um, 2950 exclusive one. And we also got that as available in a pack as well uh, at a additional discount. Why you'd want a huge amount or three even uh, Starfarer skins is beyond me. But maybe you do. I don't. In addition to my May monthly giveaway for an arrow, during Fleet Week I'm also giving away a Cutlass Blue with Star Citizen game package that Cloud Imperium Games have kindly given me for that very purpose. To be in for a chance of winning that, just comment on this video or any made during Fleet Week 2020 on my channel. I would love it if you share this video around as it really does help me, as does support through the YouTube join button or Patreon for people that want to go further. Also, I'm a shill for NordVPN, which I recommend for added internet privacy and security. Also, if you're looking for a gaming PC, instead consider Shadow. They provide cloud 
gaming PCs that leverage the power of the internet and an affordable monthly subscription instead of having to maintain your own rig. Use the code BoardGamer for discounts, but you can find links to everything down below.